Hey. All that with the pop the balloon. All right, let's get to it. Episode 27. All right now, all that. Silky, silky now. Okay. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Take to the what? All right, all right. Yeah, she trouble. She trouble. All right, all that. That's right, let them know. All right, here comes more ladies. All right. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, she a baddie, she a baddie. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So far, she's the baddest one there. Ooh wee! Gotta take that back, she the baddie. Yeah! All right! Dear Dr. K, I used to think I was never meant to be beautiful. It's your host, Arlette, and we are here with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And we've got some beautiful single ladies lined up. Make some noise, ladies. All right, I'm going to use this as my screenshot. So, I got my screenshot. Photo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, four. All right. I'm going to say who's going to get picked. Number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight. I'm going to go with the last two should be picked, seven and eight. And I'm going to go with number five and number two. So number two is the red. Number five is the black. The skirt with the heels tapped in in seven and eight. The baddies. I'm going with four, y'all. And it's one hour and twenty, one hour and two. I'm going with four. I'm going with four. Something tell me four. The least I'm going to say is two. The most is four. Let's just say that. The least is two. The most is four. And if I'm going to go with the two that's going to get picked, it will be seven and eight. And I will go with number five and number two. That will get selected. Number three is a baddie. Number one is on point. Number four, she's doing her thing. And number six, she's not bad at all. Let's see what happens. Uh, yes. So we're going to be bringing out some single men. They're going to come around this corner one by one. If he comes around and he's your type, you're feeling what you're seeing, what you're hearing, all that good stuff, do not pop your balloon. However, if there's anything he said that you're just like, oh, red flag, no, this guy's not for me, go ahead and pop your balloon, and then I'll go over to a few of you and see why you ended up popping. Are you ready? All right. So with that. All right. Let's see what happens. Being said, let's go ahead and bring out our first single guy. Hello, what? The expressions says it all. Come in. What's your name? Dexter. How's Dexter? everyone doing? Oh, okay, ladies. Like they say, good. Sound like a little choir. <laughs> Dexter, how old are you? Thirty-five. And what do you do? Um, my background's in social work, um, but I do work in education as a program manager, and I do mental health therapy as well. Very nice. Now, Dexter, what are some things you like to do for fun? 
Uh, I would say travel is like number one for me. Mm -hmm. um, I love traveling. Anytime I get an opportunity to go to the airport, that's like my number one thing right there. So nice. I definitely like to travel. Um, in addition to that, uh, content creation. I'm into content creation. So I just started a podcast not too long ago okay. on all things mental health. So um, definitely. All right. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Let's continue. Check that out if you get a chance. Okay. And um, my new thing has been bartending. Oh. Yeah, so I picked up uh, bartending as like a new gig after okay. I finished school a couple months ago. So I All like right. it. It's cool. 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 Now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Um, I'm looking for my wife, you know, somebody with wife qualities. Um, definitely looking for one of God's daughters for sure. Mm. Um, somebody that's kind, caring, nurturing. All right, now, you're saying that, and there's nothing wrong with you saying. The question is, we see how they respond to that because they're looking for fun, spontaneous, they want to, you know, enjoy your company, see what you're about. I say he going to get somebody. Yeah, he going to get somebody. Let's see if I'm right. Um, somebody likes to have fun for sure. You know, somebody that I have a good time with. Someone that's family oriented. Mm. Yeah, that's really big for me. I have a big family, so I'm big on family for sure. Good. Yeah. Now, what are some deal breakers? Deal breakers. Um, someone that is not uh, is not a Christian. You know, mm -hmm. I am Christian, so I'm definitely big on that for sure. Um yeah, somebody that's not family oriented. Um, I would say, in addition to that, you know, somebody that doesn't really like to have fun. You know, somebody that doesn't really know, you know, what it is that they want to do and okay. whatnot. Um, somebody that feels like they're entitled to things. I don't like that. Somebody that's not humble. Um, yeah, so got pretty it. much like the opposite of what I'm what I'm looking for. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, we have not got any pop balloons yet. Yeah, they really into they really into him because I saw it in their face. So. If he does what he's supposed to do, we'll see if he go for seven or eight. He might go for number two. He might go for number four. Let's see what happens. So we are going <laughs> to, he said, thank you. <laughs> so we're going to actually switch it on over to you. So let me hand you a pick. Oh, boy. Let me have you hold on to that. All right. How many ladies do we have here? Eight. Okay. So first round, I'm going to have you pop. Let's go with three balloons there based off go. of what you're seeing. Who doesn't really fall into your type? Whatever it is, go ahead and pop those three balloons. There we three go. Balloons, three of them. Wow. Mm -hmm. Nothing personal, ladies. I don't even know y'all. Y'all look nice. Y'all look nice. Stuff. Okay, two more. And one more. I'm shocked. Stay down there. We'll start Sorry. there. He popped five, seven, and eight. Okay, let's see why he popped it. Okay. All right, if we can start with your name and age. Janae, I'm 31. And Janae, what do you do? Um, so I'm in customer care, and then I also have a couple things I do on the side, like hair and things like that. Your hair is really cute. Thank you. <laughs> it is, it is. <laughs> All right, so Janae, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Um, he's very handsome, um, very well dressed. So just was hearing what he had to say. I also like that he said um, he was family oriented. All right, so Dexter, why did we end up popping her balloon? Um, it's a really tough decision, you know, having to pop three off the bat just like that. Uh, so again, it's not a personal. I just off the bat, um, very beautiful, but uh, just attraction um, for me is. Um, I'm thinking of like a scenario of like if I were to walk up to somebody, like if I feel that inclination to do so, just didn't feel it at the moment. So. Okay. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then let's go right over here. Your name and age. Australia. I'm 32. Okay. And Australia, what do you do? Um, I have a consulting firm. Now, Shirley, we did have you on an episode before, and you did end up matching. What happened with that match? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. She is familiar. Yep. Not surprised. I know you're saying, Rolla, why you didn't say anything? Because we're going to have fun with the show. All right, let's see what she says about the situation. He broke up with me the next day. <laughs> it just... He broke up with you the next day? Oh, my goodness. I got to find out what episode is that. Didn't work out. Okay. okay. Religious beliefs. Got it. Okay, well, <laughs> yeah. Welcome back. Glad to have you. So why did you have your balloon unpopped for him? Uh, he's attractive. Okay. Mm -hmm. And a lot of things that he said as well. Nice. Family orientated, love to travel, that, those kind of things. Okay. okay. So why do you end up popping hers? More along the same lines, too. Uh, tough decision, but yeah. definitely want to hear from everyone, but... Just part of the game, you know. Okay. All right, thank you. This is a conclave, not a war. It is a discover here. Let's start with your name and age. So far, he's holding it down. 
He's holding it down. So we'll see if he pick number two. Let's see what happens. My name is Shanice, and I'm 31. And Shanice, what do you do? I'm a registered nurse. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so why did you have your balloon unpopped for him? Um, I just wanted to hear what he had to say. I thought I think he's handsome, but also, I mean, I just wanted to hear it out. But yeah. I think I'm taller than him, and I usually like taller guys. So, oh, okay. yeah, Got just it. wanted to hear him out. Okay, yeah. sounds good. So, why do we end up popping her? Well, thank you for the chance. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, again, more along the same lines as well, too. Okay. And we're very put together very well. All y'all. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Oh, right here. And this one is insecure. So... I'm not surprised she popped her balloon. She didn't want to hear that. Let's continue. Let's see what happens. Name and age? <laughs> Jasmine, I'm 31. Okay. And Jasmine, what do you do? Um, I am a full-time dental hygiene student right now. Very nice. So why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, you were very well dressed, very handsome. Um, just a content creator. That's just not what I'm looking for. I just I'm very Then why did you hold your balloon if that's not the case? What took you so long to Popped the balloon at first when he said that. It's because you hear him say that the women are attractive and that got you feeling some type of way. It is what it is. Ain't got nothing to do with consecrating. That's just a way of trying to get the other ones to pop their balloon, which I don't think they would. Let's see what happens though. Private. Um, don't really have any like pictures on my social media, so I just. It's not my thing. Okay. Okay. I respect it. Yeah, you on social media right now. You on one of the biggest platforms right now on YouTube, all that. So even though you don't do social media, you on a social media content creator such as all that and BM her husband. It is what it is. He gonna hold this and say, hey, I'm gonna hold it down. I ain't gonna get back and forth for her. Let's see how he responds. <laughs> so now is Jasmine someone that's your type? Yeah, I would say so. I would, I would definitely walk up to Jasmine. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Thank you, Jasmine. Let's head on back. Oh. Yeah, number two is confident. Number two is confident. Between one, two, and three, I mean, they all got it going on. Number two is confident. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, she got his attention. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so we have four balloons left on pop. Here we go. Let's go ahead and ask these remaining ladies a question to help us narrow it down. Let's go. Okay, all right. Um, start off with something light. Where are you from? Uh, and what do you do? Okay. Yeah. Start right here with your name and age. Uh, my name is Kanaya. I'm 26. I'm from Washington, D.C., and I'm a rapper. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh huh. Shout out to the DMV. Shout out to the DMV. All right, let's go. Got bars. All right, right, right. Oh, here. <laughs> let's okay. go on over here. Your name and age and answer this question. Hi, my name is Dina. I'm a realtor and I am 30 years old. I moved to Dallas four years ago, but I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. Oh, sorry to hear that. From New York, so. <laughs> what? I, I was born in New York. Oh, okay. Okay, all right, so all right. Brooklyn. All right. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. There we go. There we go. She letting it be known. What you going to do? Let's go. All day, you know. Just saying. Let's go over here. Your name and age. Hi, I'm Shay. I'm 27, and I'm from Mississippi, and I am an accountant. Okay. Uh oh. Nice to meet uh -oh. you. Sit down over here. Uh -oh. Your name and age, and answer this question. Here we go. Hi, my name is Naila. I'm 24. I'm in the child care field, and I'm also starting my business in real estate. Nice, nice. But uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> and then you got where she's from. Oh, uh, yeah. No. I'm from Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yes. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Let's head on back. Okay. So you just got a little bit more information. So I am going to have you pop one more balloon based off of what you've seen, what you've heard, whatever it is. Okay. All right. Let's get to the point. Oh, you lost the pick? <laughs> Let me hand you that. All right. Let's get to the point. He's going to pop that one. I'm yep. pop this one. All right. So why did we have our balloon unpopped for him? Um, he's very well spoken, looks handsome, dressed well, seems clean. I didn't hear exactly where he said he's from, so I think I would have popped myself for that. But everything else seemed pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So I appreciate why, that. Why did we end up popping hers? I would say more so age. Um, I'm 35. Uh, that's a little bit, a little bit below my age limit. But, okay. Yeah. 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 It's a big deal for me. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Ooh. Someone else popped their balloon, and that's number one. 
Number one popped their balloon. He did her a favor. She did him a favor, I meant to say. And he gonna realize he did not wanting to party have her to begin with. All right, so let's see what happens. Okay, why did we end up popping our balloon? I'm so mad. I really didn't want to pop it, I swear. But I'm not a Christian. And I was trying to hold on. I wanted to, like, try to ask you a question and see if that was a deal breaker for you. Sure. But I actually really don't practice, like, any religion. Mm -hmm. I do believe in God, but I didn't want that to be, like, a thing. But I really didn't want to pop. No. Listen, I, it's all good. Though. I appreciate you being honest, though. Yeah, and respect. I was trying to like hide it. Like, <laughs> well, it came out at some point, but I appreciate the honesty for sure. Yeah. Okay. Honesty is big. Yeah. All right. So, is she someone that's your type? Um, to be honest, I probably would not approach. Okay. Um, but uh, definitely respect what you got going on. So, best of luck to you and everything. Thank you. Yeah. And why would you not approach? Um, honestly, chest tattoos not really my thing uh, per se. I don't got a problem with tattoos per se, but I think location is uh, everything to me too. But it's not a judgment of you or your character, but just preference. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. He handled it very well, like a G. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, we do have two ladies left. Let's go ahead and ask them another question. Here we go. All right. Um, let's go with this. You would make, so before your man leaves for work or wherever he's going to start his day, you're going to make sure that you do this before he leaves the house. You would make sure that your man doesn't leave the house without you doing what for him? Uh-oh. <laughs> Okay, let's start right here. Good question. So, my family's watching the show. <laughs> um, two things. Um, I'm an affectionate person, so that's one thing. And then food. Like, I'm Haitian. I like to cook. Oh, my food's sacrosy. good. It's like I say. <laughs> we don't eat cat and dogs. No, but we don't. Okay. We don't. <laughs> but, yeah, um, just food and, you know, a little physical affection. Good loving. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good loving, right? <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's get to the next one. Okay, what about over here? Um, so I'll probably leave the house before him. So um, I would say reassurance. Um, so I'm always making sure that my man knows that I love you. I hope you have a good day. Um, as far as cooking-wise, sometimes I don't have time for it. And, but I do like to cook. Okay. Um, but, I mean, that's not something on the top of my mind, you know, because I'm leaving the house around like 630. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. So it Which means number two will be the pick. I got one right so far. It's not. That's it's kind of like reassurance in that aspect. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. All right. Appreciate the answer. Thank you both. Ladies, any questions for him? Here we go. Oh, yes. Let's go over here. Now, you emphasize... I, I want someone that likes to have fun and likes to have fun. What's what do you what's fun to you? What do you now she's trying to get back into graces because she know number two is going to get picked. Let's see how he responds. You like to do with your your woman that's fun. Yeah, um, I'll say like I said, the biggest thing for me or one of the biggest things for me is traveling. So I do like to travel. Um, I do like exploring new you know locations, destinations, or whatnot. Um, I'm very chill also. Like, I can be a bit of a homebody. I do work a lot, too, so I don't always get the luxury of getting to go out. Um, but every now and again, I do like to. Part of that would include, like, going out to eat, trying out new restaurants, new experiences. Um, I could be a little bit spontaneous in terms of, you know, experiences, uh, date night and all that stuff, so. Yeah. Um, okay. Music, dancing, all that, so, yeah. Much clarity. <laughs> Any questions? All right, let's hear what the other one has to say. Questions here? I do. Um, so how do you feel about kids? Um, I love kids. Uh, I have one myself. Uh, my son Elijah, he's six years old. Um, that's my boy. Uh, as far as dating somebody with kids, I do have limitations with that. Um, I do have a limit in terms of like multiple children. Um, it's not something that I have the capacity for and children, like really young children, like under the age of like four. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have twins. Mm. They're nine. So, I don't know how you feel about that. I know kids are a touchy subject. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're great. They're part of me. So, I I'm just sure want to know how you feel. Yeah, I'm sure they are. But, yeah, m multiple children, that's a, it's a bit outside of my capacity for me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> he has to overstand. He has a son. Okay, she got twins. I mean, they are 
nine years old. His is six. They was very compatible. Unfortunately, this is what he say he stands on. Let's see if this one picks him, number three. <laughs> so, any further questions over here? Um, um, so, you stated that you had a child that's six years old. Correct. Um, how's your relationship with your um, child's mother? I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. And let's see how he responds. Yeah, it's a good relationship. It's really healthy. Um, we have a great co-parenting situation. You know, we're both there for him. We work very collaboratively. So, we're in okay. a good space. Okay, so it's only it's strictly about the child. Strictly about the child, yeah. Okay, um, how are you guys high school sweethearts? How does that go? No, nah, we met uh, shortly after college. Uh, we were actually married, but we were we got divorced um, officially last year. But sorry. And there it is. You had the chance with the other one. That's too early. Yep. Sorry. That's <laughs> yeah, all good. I get it. I asked that for a reason. Yeah. So. yeah. Okay. You asked why? I'm just curious. Um, when it comes to, I guess from my experiences, I can't speak for everyone, but majority, when it comes to uh, when you're growing up with your partner, and you're, you stay to your 36, right? Five, yeah. Oh, 35. So you were, what, maybe 20 years old, 21 years old when you guys yeah. met? That's mm -hmm. kind of a, a lengthy time, and I just feel as if it's going to take some time for you guys to um, depart from that type of uh relationship you guys have mentally because a divorce from last year I mean, I mean we're in a new year I mean it's only what 360 days so I mean it's probably going to take some time that's in my mind you may say no it's not I don't really know you like that you don't right. know me right. but mentally I don't even want to be there you know so. I respect it yeah I mean there's definitely more context but that's not the platform isn't for that, but of we, course. yeah, we've been apart for a while, so it wasn't just like the year. Um, I so it took some time to get to that point, but yeah, mm -hmm. but I respect it though. Thank you for your honesty. Of course, yeah. thank yeah. you. Yeah. All right, well, unfortunately, that is all the balloons popped. So we do okay. thank you for coming on. Let's give Thanks it up for him, ladies. I'll take that thank mic. You so much. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> if the red is not picked, she might still give him a chance on Instagram. We'll see how this goes y'all know they talk behind the scenes everybody meet up after the show all right let's get to the next person he didn't get a pick the countdown to halloween hijinks let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy hello welcome in what's your name my name is lawrence lawrence how old are you i'm 30 and what do you do they're gonna be popping a balloon uh, I'm a business owner. Uh, I own a successful business in Las Vegas, Nevada. Okay. Something I'm really proud of because I'm, I'm able to take care of my whole family now. Nice. So, um, yeah. Very nice. Can I ask what the business is? Uh, it's, a, it's an entertainment business. Okay. So it's like where uh, uh, parents can book like characters for their kids' birthday parties. Oh, that's so, amazing. Uh, yep. Okay, nice. Now, what are some things like to do for fun? Uh, something I like to do for fun is like, it's different from like, you know, what everybody else like to do for fun. I like to like give back. Mm -hmm. So I, I go like the home to shelters. That's a good thing. That's a good thing you're doing. That's transparent. And I can hear it. How you precise and how profound you are of what you're doing. I go like to just like a random like park and just give back. You know what okay. I'm saying? Sometimes I like to do fun, but I still like know how to do things like, you know, go out, you know, uh, party. I'm a dancer, so I like to, I like to dance. You know what okay. I mean? So. Uh, it's like yeah, in basketball too. All right, nice. Now, what are some things to look for in a woman? Uh, real, honest, and um, um, know who they are. Mm, okay. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's, that's, that's it. good. Now, what are some deal breakers? Uh, being a follower. Okay. No, um, you know, doing things for other people just to oppress other people. Mm. That's probably like the number one. Okay. All right, so we did get a few pop balloons. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. Let's start over here with here your go. name and age. I'm Jasmine, I'm 31. And Jasmine, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, you seem very nice. Uh, it's just, you're a little too flashy for me. Um, and that's really about, I'm not really digging the fit. 
two, yeah, and then the chains and the belt and the watch, unfortunately. But you seem very nice. Appreciate it. <laughs> All righty. So now, is Jasmine someone that's your type? Uh, no. Okay. Just because I like, you know, people who like me. Oh. But she seemed like she not interested, so. Yeah. I would answer. say no, yeah. Fair answer. <laughs> no matter how you look, just. No, I, I. Hey, it is what it is. You know, he got his preference. She got her preference. Appreciate your honesty. You're not a follower. I'm definitely not a follower. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on over here. Your name and age. My name is Shanice, and I'm 31. Okay. And Shanice, why did you end up popping your balloon? Just the initial, the initial physical attraction. I mean, you seem like a really nice guy. I like what you're doing for your community and all of that. But just the attraction, that was it. Mm -hmm. Got it. Now, same thing here. Is she someone that's your type? No. Okay. She don't like me. <laughs> so <laughs> that's real I mean, you know, that's okay so, you, know, um, you know I don't even know where to even say yes so okay. it's like I'm gonna just say no just because I don't know you well you're probably a cool person you know that's fine I mean? thank you <laughs> alright let's go here yeah let's continue your name and age hi my name is Naila I'm 24 okay. And Naila, why did you end up popping your balloon? I popped my balloon just because I'm looking for something different along the lines of, like, more clean, like, image, per se. You know, I don't want to go for guys no more with the streetwear vibe. That's all. It's, okay. it's, it's, it matters. Yeah, because she got out of a recent one like that. So, so it's yeah. about what I got on right now. Yeah. So if I had a suit on and we match, and then tomorrow I'll put this on, you know, you're done. Well, just because you did put this on for the dating show shows me that's mainly what you do put on, uh -huh. right? Oh, I always wear my jewelry, but um, I do wear casual No, stuff. like the leather pants, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like what I like. <laughs> it's okay. You look nice, though. I appreciate it. For sure. <laughs> All right, then we take it one more down here. Your name and age? Janae, I'm 31. Okay, and Janae, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I popped, I just heard him, I thought I mentioned um, that he mentioned partying um, as one of his things that he likes to do, so that was one of my reasons why I popped. Okay, okay. Party? No, I own an entertainment business, so like, oh, okay. it's a party business where parents can book like a Mickey Mouse, whatever, whatever character they want, you know what I mean, to their kid's birthday party. So right now, like, I'm making money because there's so many parties going on, so it's like, I don't party. You know what I'm saying? This is party entertainment You're business. In the industry. Okay. okay. I guess I popped too early, but uh -oh. yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now she's someone that's your type. Uh, I don't know where to say yeah, but she just had like a little misunderstanding what I was saying. But, uh. uh okay, all right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> they pop real quickly. Golly. Why are we getting all these pops back here? All right, your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon? Uh, I'm Shay. I'm 27, and I just don't think it will be um, a, a mutual connection, um, just because I'm on a different side of things in life. I would say. Different, well, what you mean? Um, I feel like you're more so on the go, constantly, like. Your chain says hustle hard, right? So it's, I mean, I, I'm not knocking you who not hustling nowadays, you know, even prior to this year. But um, I, I just don't think it'll work out because of that way. Like, I just because feel, I hustle hard. No, it's not just because you hustle hard. I just feel like uh, trying to figure out what. what oh, we, we, I, I'm, 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 I guess um, you're always on the road, right? On the road, no. meaning like no, you put you misunderstand just like her. Okay. But, uh, no, I don't. I don't have to be like at my business to make money or to do things. Like right here, I'm. I'm here. You yeah. Know what I mean, like I can do whatever I want because I own my own business. But okay. I'm not always on the road. But uh, okay, probably misunderstood. Well, that. I'm sorry if I misinterpret that. Um, but still, I just she's been on the show before. That's another thing. I know people going to be like, Rollo, you don't remember her? Of course I remember her. She's been on the show before. Internally, I just feel like it's not a connection. Gotcha. So, I appreciate it. Of course. Right, thank you. All right, your name and age, and why did you end up popping your balloon? Hi, my name is Dina. I'm 30 years old. Um, I don't know, just the energy. I just wasn't feeling it's it. too high, too low. Yeah, what, what energy is you given? Yeah. What are you not I'm feeling? A, I'm a chill person, too, so I don't mind low energy. But I don't know. It's just maybe the First initial attraction. 
I'm not yeah. sure. He didn't look me in the eyes. Mm. You looking at me? You looking at <laughs> Maybe she here for different reasons. I don't know, but I was looking at you the whole time. Oh, okay. Hmm. All right. Going back. Your name and age, and why did you end up popping your balloon? Hi, I'm Kanaya. I'm 26. Um, you're very handsome. I just think, like, your fashion choice. I, sometimes I feel like what a person put on to kind of speaks to their personality and I'm not saying it in an offensive way I feel like it's just a lot you know what I mean like the jacket the watch the belt it's just really a lot and I feel like it kind of speaks to probably like your personality I'm sorry you got a lot of things on too though I really don't know. <laughs> I have one I got one watch and then this. but it's like the prince what's that Versace no actually uh you know, all you think came for different belts. I don't even know. I got it from Amazon. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I like... got these shoes from Amazon, probably like twenty three dollars. I got these pants from Amazon, probably for like thirty dollars. My watch is real. I got this from like Burdetons for like yeah, I love thirty bucks. I love <laughs> Burdetons is really dope. Got this shirt at Burdetons too. You know, but I really like what I like. Like it don't matter if something costs a thousand dollars or a dollar. If I like it, I'm gonna get it. Like. I respect that. I respect that. No matter that. how much money I got. But I do think it looked like you got it from Amazon. So if I if if I if I took this off, it then it won't be too much. You know what you're saying? So if I had my like my jackets with the this would be too much. I think I think you gotta take everything off. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> oh Lord. Oh, he Yeah. Yeah. It's one of those. Because you're very handsome. I swear, like a white t-shirt, some jeans, and like some... So you think this takes away from his look? That's because he's so handsome. It's like, you don't got to do all that. You could have literally put on a white t-shirt, some jeans. Now, I do agree with you saying that. You, why you got all black on? Now, that's what they're not saying it. That's what they mean. Yeah. I hear, the, I hear on that. Jeans and some... Um, and, and, and some, some loafers. Some loafers. Yeah. And everybody would have been sandals unpopped. Not sandals. <laughs> not sandals. <laughs> okay. Yeah, dude, you wearing all black. Like, that's not good. Thank right, you. I got you. I we got, got you. one more down there that we ended up missing. All right, let's get your name and age. And why did you end up popping? Look, y'all got him zipping up his sweater now. <laughs> Australia in 32. Um, I think it's the communication style, um, not being able to clearly articulate what it is that you want to say. So you mentioned followers, but then <laughs> you said that you popped those ladies because they didn't like you. That not that being a follower? So that was my only reason. Uh, that's not being a follower. Okay. You got to understand what the definition of a follower is. Uh, liking somebody because they don't like you, that's not being a follower. That's just like what I like. You know what I mean? But like... Um, but you didn't probably, say what you didn't like, though. Right. It was just because they popped on you. They popped on me. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't, if if I if, if I don't like you, you're not gonna like me if I don't like you. Okay. But it's not been a father. It ain't had nothing to do with that. Like, okay. Probably misunderstood like everybody else. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's head back. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, unfortunately, that is all of the balloons popped. We do thank you so much for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for them, ladies. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Here we go. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? How y'all doing? Is on. How y'all doing today? My name is Daniel. Daniel, how old are you? I'm 32 years old. And what do you do? Uh, so I'm an entrepreneur. Uh, I have a business I started called For Those at the Front. Uh, we created the world's first multifunctional compact hairbrush for men, um, also used for women as well. It has a mirror, a brush, a comb, and a case, and it fits right inside your pocket. So you can get that on my Instagram. Check out the bio. Um, I funded my business working as a registered nurse. Um, I actually have a master's of science in nursing education. Um, I also have a doctorate in nursing as well. Okay. And uh, I'm working on my fourth nursing degree right now as a nurse practitioner, psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. So that's what I do. That's it. All right. Nice. <laughs> now that's going to get their attention. Let's see if you get a select person. But what are some things like to do for fun? Uh, so for fun, I like to get money. Um, I like to, that excites me. Uh, I like to travel the world and just see new experiences, meet new people, try new food. Um, I also like to just stay at home. Okay. I like to work out, go to the gym, but I'm really most of a homebody, though. I like to stay home and just chill, spend time with my family. Nice. Um, getting around with my loved ones is always a good time. Even if you're just sitting down, chilling, laughing, we're going to have a good time. That's fun yeah. to me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
Now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Uh, so in a woman, uh, I look for a God-fearing woman. Uh, I look for a woman that has some independence to her, right? She can hold her own, for sure. Um, I like a woman that uh, is not scared of dogs, because I do have a dog, <laughs> a French bulldog. Okay. Uh, so if I need you to watch him while I go out real quick, I need you to do that for me. Uh, and besides that, I like a woman just to have a good time with, you know, a woman that I can vibe with. Um, I don't get tired talking to her. Like, I genuinely enjoy spending time with her. So uh, that's the most important thing. Got it. Now, what are some deal breakers? Just looking at their reactions, even the one that popped the balloon light, I should have gave him a chance. Yeah, he's going to, if he gets through, it might be one of the selectees, or it may not be one of my selectees. Let's see what happens. Uh, deal breakers for me is a woman that's not God-fearing, mm. um, a woman that smokes cigarettes, a woman that's not fun to be around, mm -hmm. and um, a woman that has kids as well. Okay. That means pop balloon time. Oh. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we did get some pop balloons. Let's go on over there and see why all they right. ended up popping. Let's start here. Okay. Your name and age. Hi, my name is Dina Rem. I'm a realtor. I'm 30 years old. Hey, um, I popped my balloon because I have twin boys. They're nine years old. So... So now before They're part of me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now before he did say the kids thing, you had your balloon unpopped. Why so? Um, I just want to hear him out. Um, I want to be open-minded with this experience. I'm not too big on the, the nose ring thing, even if I have one. For my man, I don't want to be matching. He took it out. Oh, <laughs> but, but you didn't pick me. So. <laughs> um. <laughs> but yeah. That yeah, because he wanted you. But yeah, because he's sticking to his situation of women with children. You popped the balloon. Let's continue. That was the one reason that I would have popped, but I liked everything he was saying. He has nice teeth, a nice smile. So, yeah. All right. So now she's someone that's your type? So Dina. Dina, nice to meet you. Nice um, to meet Dina's you. definitely my type. Um, very beautiful. Uh, you look great with that red on. Thank you. So for sure, my type, yeah. All right. Cool, thank you. We got one over here. Your name and age, and why did you end up popping your balloon? I'm Jasmine. I'm 31. Um, I have a 12-year-old, so if that's a deal breaker, then that's, how, that's okay. Okay, yeah. so prior to him saying that, did you have your balloon on pop? Yeah, I did. I'm not really a pet person, um, so <laughs> me watching the Frenchie was a little, I was about to pop, but um, yeah, other than that, you're very, very handsome, educated, I like Thanks. that. Um, so yeah, you like to have fun, I like to have fun, you like to travel. Like. Yeah, you see, those going to be the ones that could put you on, I get it, they have children, and you don't have to pick women with children at the same time let's see how he responds to her it, and we matching yeah. oh yeah but it. <laughs> okay. okay so now is jasmine someone that's your type uh, jasmine is my type she's a beautiful girl as well and like she said we're matching so <laughs> we beat it like we ready to go on a date right now <laughs> we was but i'm sorry i don't have any kids so i just want to start you know with a woman understandable yeah for sure i respect that you. Nice to meet Let's go you. over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Shanice and I'm 31. And I like your tattoos and I like your smile. Thank Just the physical attraction and the connection wasn't there when you came out. Thank yeah. You. And I also have kids. Oh, good. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. Same thing here. She's someone that's your type. What's your name again? Shanice. Shanice. Shanice yes. is my type as well. Uh, and beautiful. Thank right? You. You dress yeah. nice. And I love the earrings. I love the boots as well. So. Oh. I mean, he's giving the ladies... A respectable thing. So, nothing wrong with that. Thanks. Nice to meet you, Shanice. <laughs> All right, let's go over here. Your name and age. Hi, my name is Naila. I'm 24. And Naila, why did you end up popping your balloon? Because I have an angel at home. So, yeah. <laughs> so before he said that you had your balloon unpopped right yeah um it was a few things that threw me off like the dog <laughs> but i feel like i'm special so somebody might not want their dog no more <laughs> i want mine yeah that's my son <laughs> okay i understand but yeah okay she said give her the dog keep me <laughs> all right so now is uh naila someone that's your naila's my type as well beautiful that's a beautiful dress you have on thank beautiful. you so uh, much yeah you just look good from head to toe so yeah my son 
That's my dog. He's my son, so he's not going nowhere. I'm sorry. <laughs> but you didn't say you had kids, so now deal. you want to say he's your son. That's my... <laughs> okay. We have package deal. We have package deal. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to meet you. Your name and age, and why did you end up popping your balloon? Australia in 32. I. All right, so we're going to hear what the two top baddies have to say. Don't have children. It was just a physical attraction for me. Okay. Okay, so what was it? Just overall, I didn't get that, mm, you know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so is Australia someone that's your type? Australia's a beautiful woman. Yeah, okay. she's my type. Always she dresses very well. Um, also, um, so that's Ooh. all it is. All right. And then our last lady over here, your right. name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Janae. I'm 31. And I popped my balloon because I have a six-year-old son. Okay. Did you have your balloon unpopped before he said that? Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, he seemed like he's very ambitious. Um, just everything he said was was really well. So okay, mm -hmm. got it. I feel like I know this response. Now she's someone that's <laughs> well, your let type. Me, well, let me let me say I don't. I guess I don't have a physical type. I okay. used to go off. I used to have a physical type in the past, and then once you have a physical type, you really narrow down the dating pool by so much. And I just got tired of doing that. I'm 32 now. Exactly. And it's nothing wrong of, you know, doing what you're doing. Let's continue. Uh, so I really just go off the vibes for real. And every lady I talk to is just giving good energy. So you, that's my type right there. Like I said, I like to vibe and go off the vibe. That's what I said initially. So that's my type. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to meet you. Okay. So I missed you over here. Your name and age and why did you end up popping? Yes, I'm Shay. I'm 27 hey, and Shay. I end up popping just because of the statement where you said, I like to get money. You know, I like to get money too. Yeah. Anybody likes to get money because that's what it is right now in the world. But, you know, it just seems as if you're putting the money before what you actually love to do. Like what it just seemed to me is just about money. You know, let's see how he responds to that because he still have a balloon on pop. To me, I don't know if that makes sense. Of course, just, that makes sense. Yeah, because I'm not all like. Listen, I'm all about. I'm very career oriented. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, my career is the same way, but I'm not thinking about the money. I'm just thinking about the knowledge and where it can take me and how I can feed that off. I'm when I go to somebody I don't say, "Oh, I like to get money." I don't, you know, I don't I don't like that. Okay. So, no offense. I'm not but, offended. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so she said you're all about the money. <laughs> so I'm not all about the money. I am uh, very ambitious. I'm not all about the money. Um, I do like to get money. You ask me what I like to do for fun. So <laughs> that's what I like to do for fun, um, personally. But I don't. I don't. It's not always about money. Um, like I said, I have a doctor degree, but right now I'm a nursing professor. Um, professors don't make so much money. I really just love what I do. Um, I love teaching and motivating my students. That's what I do naturally. Um, so. That's what it is. It's not always about the money. I love what I do. I love making a positive impact in people's lives. And that's why I became a nurse and now I'm a professor. So uh, it's not always about the money for me. Okay. Yeah. I appreciate it's all clearing good. that up. Yeah, I just, for sure. I <laughs> just don't like that when you're coming out. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, it's just, I guess it's a me thing. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. Thank you. Of course. Nice to meet you. All right. Oh, you know, yeah, she pop up balloon. I forgot she pop up balloon. So, yeah, this thing is not looking good so far. Name and age, and why'd you end up popping your balloon? Um, Kanaya, 26. I popped it because the height. Mm -hmm. It's not like, these are like the shortest heels I have, and I kind of feel insecure when I'm like really, really tall, and it's something I got to work on, but I feel like we kind of like neck and neck, and I don't know. <laughs> How tall are you? I'm five, five and a half, but my heels be like six, seven inches. I'm six feet. Oh, what? I'm exactly six feet. I don't know. You look a little tiny to I me. I am. <laughs> I mean, sorry, not tiny, but we look like the same. I'm no, six feet. Not. I'm six feet for sure. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. But it's all good. What's your name again? Kanaya. Kanaya. Kanaya is a beautiful woman as well, dressed very nice. Um, and all the ladies gave off beautiful vibes. So, um, yeah. Thank you. Okay, well, that is all of the balloons popped. We do thank you so much for coming on. Thank Let's you. give it up for him, ladies. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? I'm Marvell. Marvell, how old are you? I'm 33. And what do you do? <laughs> I'm in healthcare management. Okay, nice. 
This is going to be a quick one round. This is going to be a quick round. I could see that. Now, what are some things you like to do for fun? Uh, for fun, I like to go hiking for walks. Uh, I love bowling. Okay. Um, and a hobby is going to the gym. Okay, nice. Now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Uh, so what I look for is a woman that's funny, that's like to have fun. Okay. Um, someone that's outgoing. Mm-hmm. Um, and a woman that's healed. Mm, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. So now, what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers. <laughs> I'd say uh, a, couple, a couple of my deal breakers would be uh, someone who lies excessively, mm. um, uh, a woman that turns every disagreement into an argument, okay. um, and a woman who doesn't take pride in her appearance. Okay. All right, so we did get a few pop balloons here. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. Let's, Let's start cool. here. <laughs> okay, your name and age, and why did you end up popping your balloon? Hi, I'm Kanai. I'm 26. Um, I pop, I just don't, I feel like the physical attraction wasn't there for me, and I didn't really like the outfit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, is she someone that's your type? <laughs> uh, she's very attractive. Thank you. Nice. Let's go on over here. Name and age, and why did you end up popping your balloon? Hi, my name is Dina Rem. Um, I'm 30 years old. I popped because, I don't know, the physical attraction wasn't there as well. Okay. So what is it? I don't know. I don't know if it was like the all Michael Kors thing. I don't know. I feel like you was coming to work. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Even though we matched. Wow. Right? We match, but... I don't know. It just wasn't there. I like energy. I go by energy, and I feel like the energy wasn't there. Okay. All right. So same thing here. She's someone that's your type? Um, I'm not really attractive, but she's beautiful, though. Okay. Okay. So what is it? Uh, just the attraction. Like, a. Uh, yeah, all balloons pop. Visually. Okay. It's not attractive. Okay. Cool. What's going over here? Your name and age, and why did you end up popping your balloon? I'm Shay. I'm 27, and, um... It's just not there. I don't. I don't see the connection. Okay. I don't feel it either. So, sorry. Okay. So, what aren't you seeing? What What do you have to see for there to be a connection? Um, I. I'm just not attracted okay. to you. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm just not attracted. Okay. That's pretty much it. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Now, is she someone that's your type? Um, no. Okay. Why not? Her legs. What's wrong with her legs? They're hairy. That's my leg. That's my hair. Oh, my thighs? Yeah. Oh, that's it. That's it, though. Oh, okay. I don't do the thighs. No oh. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't. I just, okay. I feel like it grows back, like, thicker, yeah. so, but. So you do the bottom else. half. You do the yeah, bottom half, the not bottom. the top. Oh. Exactly. Okay. So. But, no hey. Let's go. <laughs> All right, thank you. Let's go over here. <laughs> your name and age, and why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, my name's Jasmine. I'm 31. Um, you're dressed very nice. I don't mind the course on course, but um, the physical attraction just isn't there, um, and that's really about it. Yeah. So what does that mean for you, like, when you say physical attraction? Um, I like my men a little bit thicker, I guess. Just a little bit. Just a little bit more thicker. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Now, she's someone that's your type. Yeah, they just want to get through this already. They're getting straight to the point. Let's see what he says. Mm, yeah. She's beautiful. I was on the look up and down. I was like, hey, <laughs> no, okay. No, you're no, fine. You have to make sure. No, no. I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, she, I appreciate that. I appreciate yeah, she's that. Gorgeous. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Let's go over here. Your name and age and why did you end up popping your balloon? My name is Shanice and I'm 31. And it was just a physical attraction. I mean, you seem like a nice guy. I prefer like a full beard. So okay. that was yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. God, it's just the facial hair the for connection, you. yeah. Okay. That was it. Yeah. Okay. So same thing here. She's someone that's your type? Um, not particularly. Okay. And why not? Just the attraction. Okay. Okay. And what does that mean for you? You know, I'm going to ask that. <laughs> um, like visually, I'm just not drawn to her. That's all. Okay. Yeah, that's all right. it. Thank you. Let's go over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, my name is Naila. I'm 24. I popped my balloon because my stepdad name is Marcel. And you might just remind me of him. And I don't do weird stuff like that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at all that face. <laughs> look at the woman's looking. Look at the ladies looking. Oh, my goodness.
But um, he seemed pretty cool, though. But, yeah. What's the name? Uh, I'm not so much attracted to your face, but I feel like a connection could grow. So okay. it's not a big deal to me, but, yeah. Okay. Got yeah. it. No, she's someone that's your type. Um, she's attractive. It's just the age. What it got me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Let's go over here. Your name and age, and why did you end up popping your balloon? Australia in 32. Just a little thin for my taste. I prefer thicker as well. Okay, got it. Makes sense. Is she your type? Oh, yeah, she's gorgeous. Thank you. I like the way you dress, too. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go here. Your name and age, and why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, my name is Janae. I'm 31. Um, and it was just kind of the energy. I didn't feel like a lot. It seemed like a little bit nervousness but it i is. mean that, and that, that could very well be i popped right away yeah, so yeah, yeah. that was just the reason you okay. i think the the dress is very well put together so okay. so you want him to come out more i don't know i think yeah i needed a little bit more energy okay so that's what i was just looking for okay. um but it does seem like you're warming up though as you kind of like have moved down, down. so yeah Alrighty. so is she someone that's your type um she looks great thank you thank you just the height. That's it. Okay. But yeah, she's great. You said the height? Yeah. Oh, she's, she's a little tall. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got my heels yeah, on. No okay. <laughs> all right. Thank you. <laughs> my all right. Goodness. Well, that is all of the balloons popped. We do thank you for coming on. Let's give it up for him, ladies. Thank, thank you. you. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Oh, well, hello there. Welcome in. How you gonna hold? Oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh no! This can't be happening. This can't be happening. Mike, sir. Oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. There you go. Hello, how y'all doing? <laughs> What's y'all your look name? Lovely tonight, all of y'all. Look beautiful. Okay. My name's Price. Price, how old are you? I'm 37 years old. And what do you do? I'm an entrepreneur. I have a black car service. I have a restaurant business. I have a restoration business where I do fire and water damage restoration. Okay, nice. So what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, Honestly, I like to help people with their business. Okay. That's what I study my whole life. So I just like to help other people have their business grow. Um, I like to travel, mm-hmm. uh, go out to eat, go out, you know. Hey, he did his thing, though. I'm laughing because... I haven't seen this in a long time. So he came creative and they like it so far. So that's cool. Let's see what happens. Okay. Much it. Got it. Now, uh, what are some things you look for in a woman? Um, kindness. Like, I'm looking for kindness. Uh, I'm more focused on how a woman treats their man. That's my main focus. Okay. Now, what are some deal breakers? Deal breakers? Um, liars. I'm a very transparent person, very honest, Mm -hmm. and I'm looking for that. Okay. All right. So, no pop balloons. That's probably the flowers. Oh, yeah. He got y'all the flowers. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So, I'm going to hand you a pick. Let me have you hold that. All right. So, you do. Even all that said it, that's hilarious. Have that pick. I'm going to have you pop three balloons. Yeah, even all that said it, had me rolling. Let's see what happens. It's off of, you know, whatever. Okay, we got one, so now two. You're just going to pop two. Whatever is not really over your type, whatever it is, go ahead and pop those two. That's Whenever you're ready. Right. Uh-oh. Okay, one. So I, so I pop <laughs> just <you>? one. Just one. <laughs> there we okay. go. Let's start with those that's popped, and then we'll come back to her. Let's start over here. Your name and age. My name is Shanice, and I'm 31. Okay. And Shanice, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I just wish you could see what it took the hat off and the glasses. Oh, that, I plan to do that. Yes, I plan to do that. But and okay, maybe dressed up a little bit more. That okay. was that was wild for me. All right, yeah. thank you. But you seem like a nice guy. Um, can I get one of flowers? Can I give? A... You want to give? You want to give her a flower? Yes, please. <laughs> okay, could we get his flower? <laughs> I just need one. Thank you. Thank anyway. you. You're very sweet. So, okay, so now she's someone that's your type. Oh, uh, she's gorgeous. Okay, cool. Thank you. 
And then we had one back here. Your name and age and why'd you end up popping your balloon? Yes, I'm Shay. I'm 27 and I don't like the sagging. Um, I don't like that I can see your eyes when I'm talking to you. Um, and... Uh, I don't, it's just kind of too showy, I guess, of kind of what you're doing at, at this moment. Like, oh, let me get her flowers. Oh, hold the, it just, it's just kind of a, it's just kind of a lot that I'm looking at, I guess. Uh, so, but most importantly, I don't like the sagging. I don't like that. I can't talk with you eye to eye. Hey, 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 what are you going to say about that? Okay. Uh, I, you have first said that you couldn't see my eyes. So you mean that you can't see my eyes? I'm Did I say that? I think she said yeah, couldn't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry that I can't. I was confused. I was confused. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I guess what I'm saying is that I want to see your eyes when we're commuting, like when I we're talking face to face. You already over. I um yeah. You gonna pull them up too? <laughs> No problem. I should. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's already popped, but I think the uh, the ladies here probably agree with me. Some of them. No, so right. you are pro to speak with one of them. Okay. All right. Cool. Right. So now, is she someone that's your type? Not really. Okay. And why not? Um, just uh, she's just not my type. Uh, no particular reason. Um, I just don't find a. Of visual or physical attraction between okay. us. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And then we end up popping this balloon. Um, I know you kind of hesitated, so we end up popping hers. Uh, she's beautiful, honestly. Um, just not my type. Uh, okay. but she's beautiful. Okay, got it. And um, your name and age, and why did you have your balloon unpopped for him? My name is Tina. I'm 30 years old. Um, I just wanted to hear more. I'm trying to be more open-minded. So. Got it. So he's is he someone that is your type? Not off, but not my type. It's okay. just open-minded. <laughs> and now the balloons begin to pop. <laughs> Thank you. And then we got a pop down here. Let's head on over. Your name and age and why'd you end up popping your balloon? Hi, my name is Naila. And I'm 24, sorry. <laughs> um, I popped the balloon. I'm really trying not to um, be petty with certain things, but... I don't like bald guys, so, yeah. I understood that. I meant to come out here and take it off from the rip so anybody who don't like bald guys can eliminate themselves because <laughs> that's the thing. So I, I understand that. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, you seem pretty cool. I, I, I appreciate I that. feel Thank the vibe, you. so you Thank cool. You. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> All right. So now she's someone that's your type? Yeah, she's gorgeous. She's beautiful. Definitely. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. When you put your heart in. Alright, so we do have four ladies left. Let's go ahead and ask these remaining ladies a question. Okay. Um, first question, uh, what's what's you guys' love language? Good question. Start over here with your name if and you, age. If you know what your love language is. <laughs> name and age and what's your love language? Uh, my name is Kanaya. I'm 26. My love language is acts of service. Acts of service. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Going down here. Your we name and age and love language. I'm Jasmine. I'm 31. Um, I got two top ones. Um, the first one's active service, and the other one is quality time. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Your name and age, and what's your love language? Australia in 32. My top two are quality time and words of affirmation. In terms of words of affirmation, I don't need to be told that I'm gorgeous or pretty. It's just more so that reassurance. Uh huh. Okay. Nice. And your name and age, and what's your love language? My name is Janae, I'm 31, and one of my love, love languages would be um, words of affirmation. So just always like to be spoken into, um, even if I have something that I'm trying to get done, you know, being, being able to be um, reminded about that is something that I, I like. Okay. All okay, right. Okay. So what's your love language? I know okay. they want to know as well. Um, my love language is uh, physical touch, quality time, um, words of affirmation. Okay. You know, I'm a little... All over. You like yeah, them all. Yeah, yeah. Love is love. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. All right. So, based off of what you've heard so far, I'm going to have you pop one balloon. Um, off of... Uh, off of, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Um, You've gone to go to number seven or eight. You're going to Okay, eight. so why did we end up popping her balloon? Um, Just because of... 
I'm the least attracted to her out of my right. options. Okay. All right, sounds good. Not that you're not attractive. You're very attractive, beautiful, Thank everything. You. It's just out of what I'm looking at, I'm the least attractive. Okay. Because there was nothing wrong with your answer. Like, you know. That makes sense. <laughs> and so why did you have your balloon unpopped for Here him? We go. Um, I did like that. Um, I kind of got to see that it seems like he probably is someone that's romantic. That's something that I do like to see a guy display. So that was why I had my balloon popped, um, held on to and just kind of hearing you out. Turn on back. Okay, we've okay. got three balloons. Go Here ahead go. and ask them another question. Okay, this is a little tricky question. Uh oh. Um, <laughs> if you had to choose a dinner date or someone to have dinner with, um, a close friend and a lover, who would you choose? Like anybody in the world. So you said if they had to pick a dinner date, a dinner like someone to have dinner with, uh -huh. or a close friend, or and your lover, like, if you had anybody in the world you could choose from, who would you choose? Like, to have as a best friend, someone you would go to dinner with? Are we choosing two or one? Three. Oh. <laughs> um, I would choose Beyonce, <laughs> um, Elon Musk, and um, Kanye West. Wow, wow, that's wild. Okay. That's surprising. <laughs> All right, let's go on down here. Oh, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is going to be, oh, man, this is going to be wild. All right, let's hear from you. I'm a little confused by the question. You said a lover, a friend, a close friend, and then who? Someone else? to go to dinner with. Oh, just a random person to go to dinner yeah, with? Anybody in the world. Dead or alive? Dead or alive. Dead or alive. Okay. So um, a close friend, I would choose my grandpa. May he rest in peace. Um, a lover, I'm going to choose Chris Brown. Uh, <laughs> and then um, what was the third person? Oh, just some, uh, some random person to go to dinner with. Um, that's a hard one. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Who? Not me. Arlette. Oh, that's to go to dinner with? Mm -hmm. oh. She seemed cool. She seemed like somebody I want to kick it with. Yeah. Hey, good, good one, good one, good one. Hey. True. All right, we got one more. All right, let's hear from you. Um, so I would choose Denzel Washington for my lover. Okay. <laughs> um, a close friend would be my grandmother. Nice. And then a random person would be Gabrielle Union. Nice. <laughs> Gabrielle Union and said Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I said nice. What made you come up with that on, question? Hold on. I said nice to pop Gabrielle Union. Oh, no. <laughs> Y'all gonna get me. Y'all gonna get me in the conversation for that in the, in the chat. I mean, Gabrielle Union back then. Not the Gabriel Union now. So let me get that straightened out. All right, let's go. What are you trying to gauge when you ask them that question? Uh, just uh, the type of people they want to be around. Okay. The type of people they like. You know, mm. Like, and it's like it's like a random question. So very random. It's not something they could have thought about before they got here. <laughs> basically. Right. So what about for yourself? You know, we always got to throw it back. Uh oh. Um, if I could go to dinner with anyone, um. I would take my daughter to dinner. Okay. Because we go to dinner all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and my close friend would be, I'm, I'm going to take her answer, my grandfather. Mm. Um, he's no longer living, but yeah. he was a great guy. And um, my lover, oh, no, I'm trying to figure that out right now. Uh-oh. That's what I all messed up. I was supposed to say me. <laughs> but I'm going to chill. Okay. Uh huh. Ah, uh, yeah, he, he's on point. He's on point. Gotta give him credit for that. Hey, all right, so I am gonna have you pop one balloon. It's a tough one. It is, it is. They are great ladies. Yep. Okay, so why do we end up popping hers? I just like the other two answers better. Okay. There's like no real particular reason. I just. Like the other two hands better, that's all. Okay. So why'd you have your balloon unpopped for him? Just wanted to learn a little bit more, but then after I heard the that he had a daughter, I had another question, so I wanted to hold on a little bit longer, but mm -hmm. yeah. 
All right. Got it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. We've got two ladies left. Ladies, any questions for him? Oh, sorry. Um, how old is your daughter? She's 13. Oh, okay. And then how is, like, your co-parenting situation? Um, I'm a single father. She lives with me. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much it. I mean, there's no uh, bad blood between me and my mother or anything. Mm -hmm. we, we get along, but she just lives with me. Okay. You live here? No, I live in Georgia, Atlanta. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Yeah. All right. Let's go down here. Any questions? Yeah. What are two main non-physical qualities that you are attracted to in a woman? Uh-oh. Um, like I said in the beginning, kindness. Um, someone who's kind, generous, um, and someone who has ambition. Ambition. They have goals. They want to do something with their life. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. For now. Okay. <laughs> All right. Before you pick, I'll let you hit him with one more question. One more question? Yeah. Um, do you believe in God? Mm, that's a good one. Yes. I believe in God, but I'm not like, I don't practice any religion. Yeah. Same here. Okay. Down here, do you believe in God? Yeah, I'm Baptist, so I read the Bible every day. I've been getting better at that, so I'm proud of myself for that because I've been a little anxious lately. So reading the Bible every day has brought me some comfort. So, yeah, I, I have a relationship with God. I pray every day. Okay. Okay, it is time to pop. Wow. Can we get one more question? Oh, no. Mm. This one you. No, okay. we'll let him pop. <laughs> Sorry. Now I'm curious. <laughs> so pop? Yeah, it's time to pop. I know. Okay. I saw it was kind of tough. Why we end up popping hers? Just because I related to her answers more. That's that's the only real reason. Okay. Got it. So why'd you have your balloon unpopped for him? Um, you're very handsome. Thank I you. did not like Thank how you, you came out with the sunglasses, Thank but I'm glad some of my fellow ladies was like, take it off. Thank you. Um, and I don't mind a bald man. Um, you came out here very confident. The flowers, like the romantic gesture, like we was all like, Ugh. I so. actually want everybody to get a flower. I didn't just want, yeah. I want to I was like, dang, my girl, only one with the flower. Thank no, just kidding. Thank you. Oh, everyone's getting a flower. Okay. <laughs> no, but yeah, I was interested to hear a little bit more. Um, going to make a lot of noise. And we're done. Yes, and that's it. Cut. No. <laughs> Gotta give it to him. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay, let me have you stand over here. So why did we end up popping? Well, first it was like, cause I would've went with him. Like, he's my type. But I didn't like the giving out the flowers. Oh, I feel like at this man. point, you, you, it's not about being selfish. You made your choice. So why would you want to give it? But why? Everybody beautiful. And I got you a bouquet of flowers. I gave everybody a single flower. But you don't think that's like. You was penny wise and dollar foolish just now. I'm gonna just let you know. And then you just said, I gave her two. So. That's okay. It must be meant to be. That's like flirtatious, no? That's okay. very flirt flirtatious. Yeah, very Here possessive. We I mean, yeah, you're supposed to be like, we just we're met, gonna, like you're going to be my man. Just I don't. We just me. But we're here to be intentional. If we're going to date, like. I respect your opinion. You know what I mean? That's crazy. I, I respect that. But yeah. I hope you enjoy yeah, those. <laughs> I hope you enjoy those, though. All right. Thank you. Okay, well. Wow. That's all the balloons popped. But we did thank you for coming on. See on. Oh, this is going to be one of those shows. Nobody get nobody. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. 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 Yeah, this is a zero. Let's give it up for him, ladies. I'll take the mic. Thank you. <laughs> the day the Pope died. Bring out our next single guy. This is crazy. Hello, welcome in. Hey, happy Saturday to you. Okay, happy Saturday. What's your name? Alvin. Alvin? Yeah, like your mic the Alvin, I like the chipmunks. Okay, and how old are you? 35. And what do you do? Uh, I'm a server and I'm a bartender. Okay, now what are some things you like to do for fun? I love to bowl, I love to skate, uh, I like to play poker, um, 
I love chess. That's like one of my main hobbies. Okay. Um, I do that probably every day. <laughs> and um, yeah. All right. Now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Um, in my head, I like the the three things for me is just available, beautiful, and clean. Mm. Um, I like maturity. Um, someone would like to have fun. Someone, um, yeah. That's okay. Pretty much it. What are some deal breakers? Uh, deal breakers, obviously someone who isn't clean. Um, uh, I don't, I like, I like kindness. Okay. Um, I believe in, yeah, I believe in, I don't like a mean person. Remind me of my sister. Shout out to my sister. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um, I just, I, I, I really, uh, yeah, just, I, I would like to meet someone like, I mean, like-minded, kind of okay. like me. Oh, got it. So we did get some pop balloons. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. Start right here with your name and age. Hi, my name is Zena Rem. Um, I'm 30 years old. Okay. I just popped because I didn't see like a physical attraction. I'm no big on energy. Um, but you seem really nice. Yeah, I appreciate and all the it. things that you're saying kind of aligns. But just, well, thank you. I think it's a physical energy. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, all of them popping a balloon. Is it going to be zero? Today, let's see. Okay, now she's someone that's your type. Um, I would say a n no. Um, just like kind of just off the physical, like nothing really drawing me towards her. Nothing like negative or anything like that. But yeah, I would just say no off first impression. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Let's go to our next lady here. Your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon. Uh, Shay, twenty-seven. Uh, the compatibility, uh, just kind of. Your hobbies are uh, doesn't align with mine. No worries. So, um, yeah. No worries. Okay. <laughs> now she's someone that's your type. I'm um, very pretty. I would say yeah, and someone definitely I would go for. Yeah. Thank you. Definitely Thank pretty you. for sure. Your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name's Jasmine. I'm 31 Happy years old. Happy Saturday. <laughs> Happy Saturday. Um, you are so nice. Um, you seem kind. So, um, it's uh. The fit okay. is a little not my not my style. It's just a okay. little. The pants are a little dirty. Your shoes are a little too big, but um, and that's really about it. Just the physical. No worries. I'm so sorry, but you seem so nice, and oh. our our hobbies align. Oh. You know, like I like to skate. I like to bowl. Yeah. Totally, <laughs> um, but, uh, totally, yeah, uh, no. totally get it. Um, you know, I totally understand. All right. So now is Jasmine someone that's your type? Very beautiful. Definitely someone I would approach. And, uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no, yeah. Thank Let's you. Going over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon? My name is Shanice and I'm 31. Hey. Um, I just don't think we will vibe out together. Okay. And your outfit just isn't my style. No worries. Yeah. But you seem nice. I uh, yeah. appreciate it. Thank Happy you. Happy Saturday to you. <laughs> All right. So basically, this might be one if we get one. Let's see. All right, now she's someone that's your type. Uh, once again, I, I think she's very beautiful, and I would say yes. Um, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go over here. Your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, my name is Naila. I'm 24. I ended up popping my balloon just because of your wardrobe choice. Okay. You seem very sweet and everything like that, so I appreciate that in a man for yeah, sure. That that's very important for me. But... Your wardrobe does tell me different things for me to keep in mind. So, that's all. Yeah. yeah. All right. I so, is she your type? Wow. I she popped the balloon. Nobody's getting old. This is this is crazy. Yeah. Once again, very attractive. Very beautiful. And, this uh, is I, wow, I totally y'all. get it. I appreciate it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's go on over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Australia in 32. Um, It's just physical attraction. Okay. Okay. All right. So now is Australia someone that's your choice? Um, I would say initially no, no. Um, just uh, just like the physical compatibility, okay. nothing really draw me to her. All right, let's go here. Your name and age, and why did you end up popping your balloon? My name is Janae. I'm 31, um, and I just popped based off of the outfit, kind of okay. just that was what you chose to wear here. So yeah, um, that was kind of my main reason. No worries. Wow. Is she someone that's your type? Um. I would say, yeah. I would say, yeah, she's very beautiful. I like her skin. Um, and, yeah, very cool. Perfect. 
Thank, Thank you. you. Wow. And then we got one last pop down here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Kanai. I'm 26. What did you say you do for work? Because I had to ask. For work, you. Uh, I'm a server and a bartender. I work two jobs. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why I bought. But I couldn't hear you when you first came out. So I had to ask the other lady. That's why yeah. I was kind of delayed. Okay. I don't think there's nothing wrong with you. I think you seem like a really nice guy. But I feel like I'm looking for more of like um, stability and yeah. like a provider. And I don't see that in like a server or a bartender. No, no, you know worries. what I mean? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Look at it. Look at Arlette's face. No worries. I thank y'all for your constructive criticism. <laughs> All right. Now, is she someone that's your type? Gorgeous. Very much so. Thank you. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. All right. Well, we do thank you for coming no, on. You. All right, ladies, let's go ahead and give it up for him. I'll take the mic. I appreciate it. Thank that. you. <laughs> thank you, everyone, for... A year from now, he will be running some business, and they're going to be looking at this video and saying, oh my goodness, we should have gave him a chance. Oh my goodness, nobody for the first time in Pop the Balloon, all that history. All right, y'all. Hey, I'm not surprised. I picked two the least for the most and nobody got picked. None of the men got picked. All right, peace.